Hello, I think there's uh, the first people are coming in. Lovely. Welcome. Uh, let's have a wait another, let's say one minute until everybody's here. Um, for those of you who are here already, could you um, just type where you're from in uh, the chat box? You'll find the chat box at the bottom of the screen. Germany, lovely. Berlin, very good. Australia, lovely. <laughs> Pausing. Okay, Austria, American, lovely. So, so mainly, mainly German speaking, if I can. Que pedo de Mexico, wow. Hey, very nice. So a, a, a very multi, Japan, Belgium, from Bavaria, servus. Okay, great. Very good. Feels like uh, being on Twitch on a live YouTube session. This is very exciting. Wait, another, one more minute and then let's go. Cool. Toulouse. Salut. I assume everybody can see the screen of the, of the presentation. Maybe just a, a quick yes in the chat. Lovely. Great. Cool. Uh, my name is Jan. I'm uh, half German, half Welsh. Uh, right now I'm based in uh, Munich and I have to say it was a, a splendid day today. Uh, the sun was shining and uh, uh, yeah, it was a really great way to start a topic. I uh, joined the Spotlight Publishing House just over a month ago and I'm supporting the upcoming digital ventures of Business Spotlight. Does everybody know the Spotlight Publishing House? Maybe just uh, type in the chat box a yes or a no. Yep, 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 of course. Okay, yes. Not until yesterday. Uh-huh, okay. So, so I assume that that, that that was probably because you uh, went to Ian's talk maybe on Thursday? Um, but so I think, not really, okay. So just, just briefly, um, the Spotlight Publishing House is a publish house, publishing house that focuses on language learning. And uh, in particular, uh, there's uh, five different languages on offer, which are all presented in different magazines, like a uh, business spotlight, spotlight, so two in English, six magazines, five languages, uh, in French, Spanish, and Italian, and German, of course. And it's curated news with activities. And today, we wanna to introduce the first e-learning course by Spotlight, uh, which is uh, on the topic of making small talk. However, before we look at the platform, I would like to explore the idea and subject of small talk a little bit more. And uh, yeah, since making small talk is a, a very typical English speaking phenomenon, we'll look at that, the cultural differences, have a quick introduction to the e-learning course and watch a video and uh, end with some questions. Okay. So maybe just not a sign of hands, that's uh, uh, the teacher coming out. Uh, just in the chat box, say whether you've listened to Ian's talk on Thursday. Just a, a yes and a no uh, will be, yes, I did. No, 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 okay. Well, great. Uh, for those of you who uh, enjoyed his talk, awesome. He's a great speaker. For those of you who didn't, uh, I'm sure you'll get another chance at some point. One of the things that I particularly enjoyed uh, about his talk was uh, when he asked you guys or the audience to rate Germans on their ability to small talk. He started off the question before that to actually ask the audience to rate themselves in small talk. And uh, it turned out that uh, the rating of themselves were, was a lot higher than the actual rating of Germans. And uh, he then though said, ah, I don't actually want to generalize based on nationality as it's very dangerous. Now, I totally agree with that. And I would probably go even further to say uh, that uh, well, generalizations are flawed. Having said that, we do often need to simplify things and uh, for understanding, you know, they come in quite handy at some point. And just to generalize once again, I would say uh, uh, humans are hypocrites anyway. But when it comes to small talk, small talk can really have an impact on uh, the happiness of people. When I uh, talk to lots of my friends from either the UK um, or, or also the Americas or like, like North America, 
um, when they come to Germany and uh, they go shopping, nobody asks them how they're doing. Um, it's, it's just a very kind of, uh, um, yeah, uh, straight business transaction. Uh, and uh, that makes them homesick. So a lot of friends really share that with me. And uh, uh, um, based on that, um, yeah, are a bit sad when they're in Germany. Apart from that, they actually are very happy though. This in contrast, of course, can also be seen uh, if a German is abroad. Um, when uh, I have a friend uh, who works at Camden Market at a butcher's shop and uh, um, when there, there was, a, I think, well, a couple of years back, uh, a German went there and basically said, give me 200 grams of sausage. And uh, that came across rather impolite. And so I suppose we shouldn't forget the intricacies of language. Mm -hmm. But so small talk really depends, no? it can massively depend on your counterpart. I think uh, among younger folk, small talk includes topics that might be frowned upon by some of the older generations. Um, and in many cultures, small talk as such is seen as useless. Whereas in English, they are how-to guides. North Americans like to sugarcoat their language. Uh -huh. Is that a question? I'm not sure. Um, however, uh, a friend of mine who heads a company uh, uh, here in Germany complained just recently. So he had a um, he, ha he had an opening, an opening for a position, and uh, lots of uh, headhunters from the UK called him, and they all started his com the conversation with asking him how he's doing, what effects Corona was having on 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 his life, and uh, how the weather was. And uh, he was of the opinion that uh, losing the first three to five minutes was incredibly inefficient. Where do you think he was from? Just type it into the box. German, Germany, Germany. No, uh, he wasn't German, he was Danish. Uh, so, so I think it just shows again, generalizations uh, uh, are not always uh, uh, found to be true. And um, what, what I would like to know though, um, since we have a lot of German speakers, but we also had a Spanish speaker and a French speaker, um, what does small talk mean in your language? If you could just type that into the chat box, that would be great. So the translation of small talk, Interesse, uh -huh. networking, Geplänkel, aha, uh -huh. very good. I'm a, ah, so, so Brazilian Portuguese, what, what is small talk in Portuguese? There is none. Je ne sais pas trop, okay. Uh, les banalités, maybe. Uh, I'm from Russia and we tend to be polite and have small talk as well. Charla, okay, that's very good. Um, now, with charla, I think we can definitely say that uh, uh, in Spanish. Would you say that's a positive or negative connotation? Positive, yeah, I agree. Now, uh, we had geplänkel in German which uh, um, especially in a business context is uh, actually seen as rather negative. Um, and, and so it really depends on what language uh, uh, we're speaking in uh, to get a feel how small talk is actually viewed or whether it's seen as important. For Brazilians, it's very positive. Yes, absolutely. But in German, you also have a positive word, quatschen. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, however, would you say it's positive in a business context? It depends. Uh, no. Yeah. So it, 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 yeah, but it's not an absolute nine. Very good. But as you can see, languages are the gateway to culture and intercultural understanding. Uh, I actually speak five languages and was lucky enough to learn them uh, in the countries where they were spoken. So I actually lived in Mexico as well, which was great. However, there are loads of other ways of learning. You don't have to go to the country. Before we go into uh, the other ways of learning, here are just uh, some seven tips for all, those of you who actually joined Ian's talk, you know them already, on small talk. Um, the first one is uh, finding connections by just asking, how are you? And uh, timing it right is, is very important. So if you basically uh, one of your colleagues has just had a haircut, you can just be, hey, nice haircut. Uh, you should also though be play, playing by the rules. Um, that always depends on the context you're in. And so uh, uh, it's quite good to say, I'd rather not talk about that at the moment. Telling a good story, I think is always a good one. Um, maybe not focus on yourself for too much, but like uh, um, 
a good story is always uh, 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 very good. What's your native language? I'll, I'll answer that at the end of the at the end of the talk. Um, showing interest is always good. So like that's amazing. Uh, remembering the details and uh, how are your kids? Remembering the details uh, uh, is very important. So you don't actually confuse the kids with dogs, for example, no, or cats. Who knows? Pets, pets in general. But so moving on. So tell me, how's work at the moment? Or anyway, what's going on with you? Um, are good ways of doing it. As we are in Corona, um, a lot of people are in lockdown. So I'm actually in, in the office right now, but nobody else is here. So I'm by myself. But a lot of people are is stuck in home office. And I suppose that leaves you with less possibility to actually uh, um, engage in small talk with your colleagues. But uh, my uh, 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 colleague here, uh, had a great idea and he installed a virtual break room uh, where you can go to have a break and foster informal communication. So as if you were going to the coffee area uh, in your office, there's just a, a virtual room, whether it's Zoom or, or, or Slack or uh, Teams, whatever platform you'll be using, uh, you can just go in there, have a coffee and actually uh, um, take a break. It's a way of building trust and getting to know each other. And there are different ways of doing so. Um, and yes, doing it in person helps, but I think digital tools have become so good that there's a lot of learning that can be done online. Everybody learns differently. Um, and obviously I would also recommend watching movies um, or series in the original. Um, if you're not quite good enough, you can watch it with subtitles and speak the language whenever you can. So for, for instance, I have a, a, a corner shop down, uh, where I live and uh, it's a Pakistani corner, corner shop. And I, I basically just speak as much as I can in Urdu with him. Um, it's not that my Urdu is brilliant, uh, but if I weren't be able to speak it at all, I would probably forget it all. Um, or you could speak English on Discord and, and other platforms. And so what would be great if you could actually type into the chat box now, uh, what digital tools do you use for language learning? Tandem, yep, yeah. hello talk. Tandem app, Duolingo, Elevate, same. Zoom webinars, okay. YouTube. Cultis, yeah, I've never heard of it. Chatterbug, yep, I know that. Mm hmm. Quizlets, okay. And, and basically lessons. Mm hmm. But may, maybe, because uh, um, that was quite interesting also at Ian's talk. Uh, if you're a teacher, could you just write teacher in the chat box as well? Teacher, okay. Yeah, so quite a few teachers. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I'll give you now a sneak peek of the Business Spotlight e-learning platform. Uh, it's very new and uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. It is in German. For those of you who don't understand German, uh, it is short and has some nice music to it. So I suppose uh, uh, watch it anyway. And uh, if there's any questions that you have, let me know and I'll happily do the translations. Okay. And I'll share my email at the end. Wie komme ich mit neuen Kollegen leicht ins Gespräch? Welche Formulierungen sollte ich in Verhandlungssituationen verwenden? Auf welche sprachlichen Feinheiten muss ich im Mitarbeitergespräch achten? Eine Sprache im beruflichen Alltag mit Erfolg zu verwenden, ist viel mehr als das Wissen um Vokabeln, Aussprache und Grammatik. Herzlich willkommen bei unserer Business Spotlight E-Learning Plattform. Alle Trainings sind vollständig digital. Volle Flexibilität an jedem Ort und zu jeder Zeit. Authentische und aktuelle Materialien aus der beruflichen Praxis. Freude an der Sprache und kontinuierlicher Lernfortschritt durch regelmäßige Evaluation. Verbessern Sie Ihr Business English mit der Business Spotlight E-Learning Plattform. Okay. Uh, one thing just to mention, uh, at the end of the, the video, you saw uh, the tablet, the, the desktop, and the mobile. However, just so you know, the mobile version is actually still in a kind of better version. 
And uh, um, so you can use it, uh, but if you see some bugs or uh, um, let's say uh, inconsistencies, please do let us know. And it is primarily designed for the desktop. Uh, um, yeah. Yes, so uh, here's an overview of the platform. What's good about it is it, it'll give you concrete examples for talking about the weather, how to avoid tricky situations, bonding over complaints, and uh, it consists of 18 different units, uh, which are all concluded by a little quiz, uh, which you can pass or fail, uh, and obviously repeat as well. And it'll provide you with practical tips for connecting with people, whether in person or remotely. Uh, it is designed for you to practice and actually gain confidence for when you find yourself in the next small talk situation, you'll actually be able to apply what you've learned and uh, yeah, start, start chatting. And one of the important things is also uh, uh, um, how to end small talk. No? And uh, uh, for that, we're quickly going to jump into the actual platform. Uh, so you can see, I hope you can still see my screen. Uh, maybe just quickly in the chat. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Lovely. Cool. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to look over on the other screen for now. Um, remember that small talk is not just chit chat to pass the time. It allows you to warm up for an important discussion, um, but it also sometimes you have to get concrete now. And so you could start the sentences like, anyway, I was hoping to talk to you about. So tell me, uh, or could I ask you a question, uh, which I've actually tried to do throughout this talk. And uh, uh, this can be done with uh, exercises. Uh, I've actually done the first one for you, um, but this would be an audio that you could just listen to and then uh, answer. Some anyway, questions. Joe, I was hoping to talk to you about our service contract with Delaney. Sure, Miriam. What do you need to know? So tell me, Enrique, have you looked at the project figures yet? Yes, I have. I'm glad you mentioned that. Anu, could I ask you a question? Who can I talk to about building codes in Chennai? I'm not sure exactly. If you'll give me your card, I'll get back to you with that information. Okay. So there's lots of different audio exercises that you can actually do. And uh, it does try and cater to, I suppose, a range of different accents and dialects. Um, so it does uh, reflect, I suppose, the diverse uh, working world in which we live in. And uh, um, yes, that will then be followed by uh, some exercises. Here I did a wrong answer. And so that, that was the last one. Annie, could I ask you a question? I was hoping to talk to, have you looked at who can I talk to? Does anybody remember? Maybe just type the first uh, uh, word into the chat. One. Nope. Aha. Was it buildings in Chennai or service contract in Delaney? Two. Uh-huh. Or, or is that for the next question? Nope. But it was this one. Great. So, anyway. That was ending small talk. Uh, it's a very brief presentation, so I only did 20 minutes uh, to actually enable you to ask loads of questions now. I think um, uh, Jessica, who's the head of marketing, she's online as well, and I think she'll be posting the landing page to the course uh, in the chat. And uh, um, for any questions, let me know um, via the chat and I'll be happy to answer them. Do we have any questions? Not yet. No, okay. Is it for English only? Uh, for now, yes, it is for English only. Um, so I think because it's all in the, in the in, like all still very early, are there any costs? Yes, there are costs. Uh, maybe let, let's, let's go step by step. Um, so, so firstly, yes, it's in English and only in English for now. We're focusing on the business spotlight 
content. However, if uh, um, uh, you give us some time, maybe there'll be uh, uh, um, new languages to come in the future. And uh, um, this is designed only as a self-study course. Um, well, so for now, yes, it's a self-study course. Um, it is not intended to be used by teachers in a classroom. However, um, the students could use it for practice, of course, as homework. No? Um, blended learning in the future, I mean, I don't want to say no, because like uh, you never know. Um, but as it is, that's not uh, um, what you can do with the small talk course. But I think uh, in the future, there'll be definitely a lot of things that could come. What topics do I have to avoid? Uh, when it comes to small talk, that is, Andrea. Um, I mean, the three classical ones that one says one should avoid is uh, politics, sex and religion. However, I think, as I said uh, earlier, depending on what age group, depending on kind of the, the, the context that you're in, uh, small talk does vary a lot. No? Um, and so, so uh, if you talk about certain things sensitively, I, I don't necessarily think it's a, an absolute no-go, any topic. Um, but you have to do it appropriately. No? Uh, okay. Uh, are there any costs? Yes, there are costs. Um, it's a one-off for now, which is $49.95. And uh, uh, that answers the next question, which is, is it free? I already have the Business English Magazine subscription. Does it include the platform as well? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but I think for that question, Katrin, uh, uh, our head of marketing would be the, the, the better person to ask. But as far as I know, it's a separate, separate uh, entity. So, so no, I don't, I don't think it'll be included. Um, are your audio files available to play on different devices? Yes, they are, absolutely. Uh, whether that's mobile, whether that's uh, um, uh, uh, on, your, on your laptop, uh, on your tablet, uh, absolutely. Uh, in America, politics is almost always taboo in, in the USA. Yep, absolutely. Um, and especially, I suppose, because of the polarization, um, uh, you could easily uh, um, tread on somebody's toes, which is uh, uh, not ideal. Money as well. Yes, I mean, you wouldn't ask, uh, hey, how much do you earn? Um, no, that, that's definitely uh, not a thing, especially not in the beginning. Uh, it could be great for self-study. I'm just looking at how we tutors use it in our lessons. Then, yeah, so it, it is not actually designed to be used in lessons, um, uh, at least not for now. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think that the Spotlight uh, Publishing House will have the possibility to produce something which might be uh, uh, used in lessons, but this particular course is not, no. Um, it, it, it is designed as a self-study course um, to give you confidence or to give the learner confidence uh, to practice certain situations that when the real life situation arises, they'll be able to, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, engage and uh, use the, the specific tips that they've been given. Ah, yes, Jessica has just uh, responded. No, it is not included in the, uh, uh, in the subscription. Yeah, so, so it's not subscription. subscription. Will there be e-learning courses on other topics coming? We hope so. Absolutely. Uh, um, I hope so too. Uh, no, so I think, yeah, I mean, most definitely, um, but not, not as yet. So that's still in the exploration phase uh, and planning. Um, I think, uh, yeah, there's lots of great content that we can use, um, but we don't have anything uh, uh, in the pipeline as of now. Very nice for single private users. My great respect in comparison to my current uh, Altissia. Well, I will check Altissia out. Um, thanks very much for mentioning it. I actually have not seen it. So, so I don't actually know. What software is it compatible with? Uh, Android, Apple smartphones. So, so it's, it's compatible with iOS and Android. However, uh, it, so it's, it's, it's basically a web-based version. No? So, so you actually, it's not an app. It's, you access it via the browser, which is why it's compatible uh, with any device. One thing for you to know, though, it is it is on a mobile phone, uh, still in some parts, um, well, I suppose a bit clumsy. No, um, we'll improve that and we'll work on it and we'll make it better. And um, so, so for now, it's really designed for computers, um, but uh, uh, we'll get there uh, most definitely. I'll uh, uh, make sure of that. Apparently, in China, the salary can be the first question people would ask. Well, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, I. 
don't know that. I've uh, uh, not spent uh, uh, much time in China. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able um, to say. Um, but I think it could well be, but I don't know. If we promote it to our students. Um, so I lost that question. If we I can confirm about China. Lovely. Okay. Uh, would we get any bonuses? Again, I'm not the best person to ask that. Uh, Jessica, um, our head of marketing, would be the best person uh, to respond to that question. Um, uh, definitely, I would say reach out and uh, uh, you can reach out to me. I'll happily uh, put you in contact with uh, the um, responsible people. And uh, if not, um, I'll uh, uh, inquire myself and get back to you. Uh, so just get, write me an email and maybe even uh, Jessica will get uh, um, back to you in this chat right now. And uh, for computer, is it only web enabled uh, or can you, you use remote on computer? Um, Carmeli, I'm not entirely sure I understand that question. Um, so it's a web-based solution, um, which means you can access it via any browser, uh, essentially. Um, can we use remote on computer? Yeah, I, could you rephrase that question? Because uh, I'm, 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 I'm not entirely sure. It means can we, ah, through app, no, okay, no. Um, no, so uh, it's not an app, it's uh, purely a, um, a web-based web -based, web -based solution. Okay, no worries. Uh, I think that is, uh, yes, we can grant a bonus. Hey, lovely, just get in touch. So perfect, uh, um, that sounds very good. And uh, uh, we have three minutes left, so I'll happily uh, answer some more questions. And uh, if not, um, I hope you have a lovely Saturday and a lovely weekend. Um, great weather tomorrow, fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, do come on uh, um, e-learning uh, um, or Spotlight slash e-learning, I think was what the link was. And uh, um, look forward to hearing your feedback because I think that's what is most important to us is really, uh, um, yeah, ho hopefully uh, um, fulfilling your requirements and making the best uh, um, effort in language learning. Thanks for the information. Have a nice day. Thank you. Ah, direct link for offering. Jessica will do that. Uh, um, and just, just so that you guys know, um, from uh, the Expo Lingua, so they, they, they are actually recording this entire thing and uh, you will get a recording of this presentation um, within, uh, I think they said a, about two weeks. Um, Cause I suppose there were quite a lot of uh, presentations to be held, so give them a, a bit of time. But uh, within the next two weeks, you should uh, have, have it all. Thanks a lot. Not a problem, it's a pleasure.